With reports of more brute force logic games on the September and October LSATs, some folks are wondering if LSAC already changed the logic games section. Hey, what's up, everybody? Steve Schwartz here from LSAT Unplugged, joining you today to address the concerns from test takers who report that there were more brute force logic games on the LSAT recently, suggesting that maybe LSAC changed the logic game section already without telling anybody. I'll share my thoughts in just a moment, but before I do, a little bit about LSAT Unplugged. We offer live online classes via Zoom, on-demand video courses, small group coaching, and one-on-one -on -one coaching. Check out the links below this video to find out more and to book a call with me and my team. We'd love to help you out. So a lot of folks have been suggesting after the October LSAT that there were more brute force logic games on the exam than ever before. The games seemed a bit weird. They were not as susceptible to upfront inferences. I also heard the same thing, by the way, after the September LSAT. So this does appear to be a trend. However, here's the thing. Folks always say after their official LSAT that something seemed harder or different or odd than normal. This is quite common because you have the stress and adrenaline of the real thing throwing you off. There are some folks who do better under pressure. There are folks who get rattled a little bit. But after every single exam, I've heard reports like this going back over 15 years of me teaching the LSAT. This is nothing new. LSAC has not made any radical secret change without telling anybody. This is just the stress and nerves of the real thing getting to some folks who are then posting about it on Reddit and Facebook and commenting on my Instagram and TikTok to this effect. I see it all the time, and I honestly don't have any reason to read too much into these comments. If LSAC were to release this test form, which they won't, unfortunately, but if they were to release it to you and you were to redo these very same games, you would likely say, hey, those weren't so bad after all. I'm not sure what I was so thrown off by during the actual test. When LSAC makes the big coming changes to the logic game section, likely next year in July or August of 2024, you'll know it because they'll have given plenty of notice prior. They're not going to secretly change the logic game section without telling anybody. They always give advance notice of any major changes, like the comparative reading or dual reading comp passages back in June 2007. They introduced those with plenty of notice and releasing sample questions in advance. They've already confirmed they will do the same when they make the big changes to the logic game section likely next year. But they're not going to suddenly change the logic game section without telling anybody. That just isn't how it works. Some folks do better on test day because they've prepped fully and are prepared to get a perfect logic game score. Other folks think they're ready and then they get stressed or thrown off a little bit. And that's totally normal as well. If that's the situation for you, my recommendation is to simply retake the LSAT since law schools do not average multiple LSAT scores, but rather they only take the highest score. There's really no downside to retaking other than investing that additional month or so in preparing for the LSAT yet again. But with more at-bats, you're going to get more successes. And luckily with the LSAT, the successes are the ones that count. So again, the new games that you saw on the October LSAT or the September LSAT, there were not really brute force games. LSAC doesn't do that. LSAC rewards you for making inferences and working efficiently. That's really the whole point of including games on the exam is to test your ability to see inferences, to make connections, to diagram them efficiently, to maximize your reuse of previous hypothetical scenarios. Brute forcing is not really impressive, and LSAC is not encouraging you to do that. I assure you, if you were to look at these games again, you will see that brute force was likely not the best way to go about it, as you'll see for any one of the nearly 400 released logic games on the previous 100 or so previously administered and released LSAT prep tests. LSAC is always testing the same things over and over and over, just in different disguises, and unfortunately, in the stress of the real thing, it can be harder to dissect what LSAC has put together for you. But if that happened for you, my advice is simply retake and give it another shot. See if you can't break it open again next time. Anyway, folks, that's all for now. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please do me a favor and share it with someone who needs to see it. I don't do any advertising for this channel. I rely only on word of mouth to help get the word out. And your sharing this video really does make a difference. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.